All right, shalom, uh, IT lovers of my classes. Uh, welcome to uh, DA with R, and we are still on our uh, data set called uh, sales.csv. Uh, this is where we stopped last time. Uh, yes, before I begin, I uh, hope you have noticed my uh, the voice recording is back. Uh, I'm so happy I could uh, just find the uh, external uh, voice recording app which I could uh, install on my laptop. Huh? And now uh, I can, uh, you know, tutor right, <laughs> tutoring with uh, the voice uh, straight uh, while I'm uh, practicing with you. Okay, so uh, first of all, I had to rerun uh, all the comments we have done so far. Let me just scroll up. Eh? This is what we have done so far, and this is where we stopped last time eh, with uh, the creation of this little pie right here. Eh? Looks awesome with these colors. <laughs> okay, uh, and it's still right here. So I had to rerun. So everything is right here, and the outputs are also here in the environment. So let's move on. We are going to do a couple of things today. Um, we are going to first uh, calculate. Um, yes, by the way, the the the, the cell CSV right here uh, contains a thousand rows. It's an easy one, and I'm going to. Um, to, uh, to distribute the link uh, to whoever is in need of it. Uh, if you don't have your own uh, data set yet, or, uh, we are going to keep on working with it. So right now, let's try the calculation of something else. Uh, let's calculate, um, let's say the summary uh, statistic by, uh, by gender. So the comment is going to look, uh, you know, the same as summary by gender. Um, then we want to use aggregate. Of course, we're going to get to know other functions. And here I'm going to write C. Here we want to get the profit. Uh, here we want to get the revenue. And here we want to get the cost. And here we need a tilde, uh, let's get it like this. And we need uh, the customer, uh, gender, huh? let me get it like this. And we need the data, and we need uh, this fun right here for function again, equal. It's a long one, huh? and here, uh, as you can see, sum equals sum x, and then we can print it. So first of all, let's run this one, huh, the first one, you run here, okay, and then we want to print it, okay, so what did we do, uh, let me just show you the, the that's long function, huh? until here, let's break it down a little bit now huh, here, here by the end, huh? here, this is what I'm trying to explain, here, so, um, the mean x, uh, this calculates the mean uh, average of the values in x, which uh, represents the values of uh, profit, revenue, or cost for each gender group. And sum x uh, calculates the sum total of the values in x. Mm -hmm. So uh, c mean uh, equal blah blah blah, uh, sum uh, equal blah blah blah. This creates a named uh, vector where the mean and sum for the respective uh, variable. Uh, X are combined into a single output for each group, customer gender in this case. Huh? Um, the C um, method huh, function uh, concatenates the two values, so you end up with uh, both the mean and sum in the output. Huh? Uh, in the context of the aggregate uh, function, uh, aggregate is grouping your data by uh, customer gender here. And uh, for each gender group, uh, M and F, uh, male and female, uh, the function applies fun, uh, the function X, to the specified variables, you know, profit, revenue, cost. Uh, and uh, the C mean equal mean X and sum uh, equal sum X calculate the mean and sum for each variable and outputs them as uh, part of the grouped uh, summary. This is what it is. Uh. This is uh, the, the printing of the summary by gender. As you can see down here, we have the, 
the profit mean, the profit sum, the revenue mean. Uh, you can see here. And here we can run uh, the filter data where all the quantity is greater than 20. Uh. Let's run this and see the output. We can print it to and here it is. So it's really uh, interesting here on R. Uh, now we want to create uh, a matrix, eh? <laughs> not the movie though, <laughs> lol. Okay, let's create a matrix, eh? simple uh, matrix, create a matrix with our data set too. Eh? Let's try that from uh, the first, um, this is the first uh, two numeric uh, columns and we're gonna give it like cells uh, matrix print the cells matrix let me see if i don't have any typo here cells matrix as matrix right Yes, looks good. Okay, let's run and see. Okay, and we want to print it. All right, we have created a matrix. And uh, now let's create an environment. Create an easy one. Let's call it my env. And, uh, and see what we can put in it. And you have to indicate it's a new env and it's a method. Okay, we want to create that. Huh? So we have to just run and see. Okay. And now we want to, here I just uh, speeded uh, the process a little bit after the creation of the environment. We want to assign uh, values in the environment. Huh? So let's run this one. Huh? And then uh, we want to access the variable in the environment. Uh, so we run. Okay. So here is our environment creation. So you see you have, you have he, uh, here where the cursor is. And this is the environment. And when you click it, you can see it here. And then you can see it also here by the tab. Huh? This is our tuto. Uh, it's going to be number four. I'm going to save it later. And... This is our cell and this is our new environment. Okay, I'm just gonna close it because I wanna do something else. Uh, let me go back here. Uh, here, uh, I wanna show you that you can, um, you know, create more functions and uh, for some of them, you need uh, to uh, install uh, some necessary uh, packages. Okay, if you wanna install uh, packages, you can go either here by tab tools uh, and um, you go by install packages and uh, you can put the title of your packages and then install or you can just do it uh, this way huh? old-fashioned way you type it huh? here we're going to get uh, installing um, uh, necessary uh, necessary packages huh? install dot packages and then you, uh, in parentheses, you have to put the quotation and get the name of your packet, D-P-L-Y-R. And uh, I want to get another one. Huh? We want to get uh, install uh, packages, something else. And uh, this one is a well-known one when you want to do some mapping uh, things. Uh, it's a leaflet leaflet huh? so these are the two packages we want to install so i'm gonna first um, run this huh? so when you see red appearing like this don't freak huh? it's going to install your packages so here it's written in german for me it's okay for the the first one and now for the second one it's gonna be the same thing it comes red but then it's gonna install your packages Okay, these ones, um, these ones are installed, uh, but then you have to load them again. So you install and then you load. So we're gonna load uh, the first one, uh, DPLYR. 
um, and uh, we have to uh, to get it like this. It's a library, uh, and in parentheses, DPLYR. So let's load first uh, this one. Huh? We are gonna run this one first. Alrighty. Okay. Now with this one, uh, we want to create something. Uh, that's why I I wanted to install them. Let's create um, a simple uh, map uh, with leaflet. Huh? Voila. So that's the commentary. Uh, and now the command is going to be a leaflet, of course. And I have to explain what I'm doing. First I do it and then I explain. All right, so maybe you wonder what it means. Uh, these ones right here, um, these uh, <clears throat> percent, percent, and uh, you know the the more than in in uh, in the middle right here. These are the pipe operator. The pipe uh, operator is part of the DPLYR package and is used to pass the output of the you know of one function. Uh, uh, you know directly into another function it helps make your code more uh, readable let's put it like this uh, let's just run so you can see what i'm talking about <laughs> and as you can see let me put it uh, i'm going to zoom out so you can see better this is what you create with uh, with this type of uh, packages you see so here, that's uh, California right here. I'm not there right now. <laughs> okay, this is the type of map you can create. It's very interesting. And you can zoom, uh, you know, as you wish. It's interesting, huh? These are all the things, the type of things we can do here on R. I mean, I like it. <laughs> okay, now let's see. Um, I'm going to scroll up. This is what we have done so far. This is now tuto number four. And as I said, uh, I'm going to uh, leave the link. And I wanted to uh, show you also some, um, you know, important uh, comments. Like if you want to clear the console right here, just in case you are wondering how you can clear it, you go by uh, tab edit and then uh, you clear the console, for instance. And then you can rerun all your work, all the comments you're seeing. Interesting, huh? All right. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna uh, save right now. Huh? You save as, and here is gonna be tuto four. All right. So I uh, hope you liked it. Huh? It's interesting, huh? Uh, the rest is coming next. Huh? We have uh, <laughs> still some uh, comments that I want to show, and then we can uh, move on uh, to the next file. Okay, thank you for watching.